How did that game descend into two red cards? I think, you know, you're looking at two very passionate teams. You're looking at uh, two very passionate managers. Uh, you know, you want to win a game of football. And um, I think that, you know, Vaughan was, was maybe goaded into, uh, into his. You know, I've seen, seen the footage of it and seen the photos. And for me, uh, the referee's got it wrong. The second one, he's got it wrong. Uh, he's looked at his, um, he's not giving himself any thinking time, the referee, he's, he's almost waited for Vaughan to, to want to do something, uh, their captain's you know, drawn him in and, and, and Vaughan, the momentum of Vaughan, his run, um, you know, has made the referee make a decision and in my opinion, you know, the wrong decision and, you know, and that's disappointing because, you know, we're trying to you know, we want Vaughan out there as much as we can. Mm -hmm. You see the quality of him um, and his passion and enthusiasm. And it's that fine balance because I don't want to take that away from him uh, and that spirit and that winning mentality that he's got. But I also don't want to lose him for football matches. We've been really careful how we uh, give him game time and where his game time's at so that he can make games. Uh, you know, and unfortunately, we're going to miss him on Saturday. So it's striking that balance like, like everything is. and. Um, you know, the second one, um, you know, Adam's actual sending off for Danny, he's rolling about on the floor again uh, when he's just completely unprofessionally or professionally dived across, you know, Danny May, uh, pretending he were hurt. So, um, you know, he got the he got the decision right on that one, I think the referee. Um, but I think either with with ten men, when we had eleven men, we still you know still dominated the game like I like I wanted to. And um, you know, thoroughly deserve the win. The frustrating part of all of it is you've got all the evidence you need, but you can't appeal two yellow cards. No, and, and it's it's a great point. You're hoping that you know there there is going to be real changes, and you know, video evidence you know you'd be able to use. And over the next five years, I think we're going to have some massive changes in refereeing, and um, and, and I'd welcome you know I'd welcome that challenge and, and be able to challenge them decisions because at the end of the day you know you've, you've missing that player uh, okay you can't get retrospect in the game and you could lose the game but don't let maybe losing a game and losing three points turn into potentially six points because you've got an influential player or any player any player really deserves the right to be able to um, appeal a decision that, that's been you know wrongfully wrongfully committed so it's I think that this testing going on in um, in Holland uh, FIFA's allowing the testing to happen, so you know I don't think it's going to be too far away that once the actual um, once the actual chance to do that and the technology gets us to that point. I mean, it's like the uh, goal line technology. Mm. It's been fantastic for football because it's black and white and. Nobody can argue about it. It is what it is. The referee, the system is fantastic. Everyone, there's a real clarity towards it. Uh, you know, we used to debate that for hours and hours, and, and was it right? Was it wrong? Um, so it's been a massive step, uh, but I think that's an easy one to get right. I think the technology's out there. I think the intelligence and the brains are out there to pull pull it off. And I think the referees want it. You know, they don't want to get decisions wrong. This is this is the major thing for me. They don't want to get decisions wrong. There's an honesty and an integrity in the referees, uh, you know, world, and they don't want to get decisions wrong. Uh, and if this helps them, um, then you know, it's it's a step in the right direction. So yeah, I think it will come a day, God, where we'll we'll end up. Um, been able to contest yellow yellow card decisions. How's Vaughan been this week? Is he down in the dumps over it? No, he's not, and I won't allow that. You know, uh, um, but it's the way I operate. It's the way the group operates. Um, he's best pals with, with Neil Dans, you know, um, and Dans is Dans going through it. He was tough with him after the game, uh, and Casey. You know, like I said, we've got some real leads in the dressing room, and uh, you can't be. We had a we had a session yesterday that were were fantastic, and uh, you know, Vaughan Vaughan was excellent in it. So the best way to get over a disappointment is is get back on the bike and, and start enjoying your work again. And it's what we're doing here, God. You know, down at Carrington, it's what we do. We enjoy what we do, and, and we make sure that the players uh, are inclusive in that.